Hey, welcome back Olympic fans. This is Larry from Snake River Fly. Uh, just gonna do a little tutorial on one of our hottest little uh, smallmouth bass and carp bugs right now. Um, about the 1st of August, I guess. And uh, anyway, this one's been really good for us in this mocha color, working on some new hooks and eyes, um, kind of for us anyway, the MFC stuff and, and having a really good time with this guy. So go ahead and get started. Um, this is MFC 60 degree, 3XL long, and a size four. And we've just went ahead and put uh, our clouser eyes on there. I think this one is a different color, but the color that's been really good has been this gold uh, sparkle with red in large. And I've just got some six aught uh, Semper waxed. So went ahead and put my eyes on, and, and I put my eyes a little bit farther back on this hook. We like this one riding level, um, and we don't like these eyes right up at the very front because they tend to get caught up in a lot of the basalt that we have um, for our fishing um, for our smallies. So go ahead and get it started. Pretty simple pattern, but really, really pretty deadly. So I've already uh, figurated my eyes on there, glued them down with some head cement. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little bit of tan marabou that's been barred, the MFC barred tan and black. You know, if you have tan at home, you can borrow it with the Sharpie, but the tan's more the key. And I went ahead and prepped this feather um, and cut the tip out of there. I don't like the tips on them because they tend to fail. And we're just gonna tie this tail in, basically the length of this shank. Strap that on top like so. Work our way to the back. Like I said, this is basically just a hydro bugger. Might be just a touch long right there, but we're gonna roll it anyway. Um, <clears throat> just a hydro bugger, we put some of our laser legs on. So this laser leg is in blue craw. This is a <laughs> really groovy color. And honestly, I think that's probably why they're eating this. It's probably for a peeler craw. Um, but this is out fishing every other color. So I've got two strands of our laser leg in blue craw. i go ahead and tie them on my side pinch them in the middle, tie them in right back there at the back where our marabou's tied on, and then I'll just fold the other side of that over, that'll lock those in. And I kind of want them kicking up at just a little bit of an angle, so when this thing rides inverted, or hook point up, these aren't gonna lay right down flat. And I'll trim them just a little bit longer than my marabou tail. Just gonna knock off of a really cool redfish fly we've been fishing for the last time when we were down in Louisiana. Um, we tie a lot of bugs like this, our hydro bugger. Um, <clears throat> we do a two-tone tail on that, but this one's real simple, drops real fast. And with kind of a sleeper color in our hydro hackle, um, this is the mocha. It's just kind of a kind of a lighter well, mocha color, hydro hackle. Not a ton of flash in it, but a little bit. Does have some flash. And this just makes for a really quick, easy, buggy, leech, buggy fly. And this has been the one that's been putting us on the podium lately. Been meddling out with this one. So, I'd like to go ahead and put a little head cement down at this point time purposes probably don't need to but this is always a really good idea might as well build a bomber flag especially the way these smallmouth are just crushing this thing now we're just gonna palmer with touching wraps or as close as we can forward on this and like I said we're not gonna go up onto that 60 degree we're gonna stop it shy that out on the lake the other night American Falls big old reservoir we got right here west of town Brandon was <laughs> thinking he was ripping the biggest brown trout in the world biggest smallies and the carp were absolutely manhandling this mocha color and about every third time it was a really nice big bass anyway been a cool bug this one also fishes really good for cutthroat 
on a couple of the, you know, the bear, a lot of the stuff around here. So I've got up to the eye on this, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of figure eight through there, but I'm gonna pull those fibers back as I do in front on my side, behind on your side, behind on my side, in front on your side. I'm gonna do that a couple times. Just to kind of cover up those thread wraps, strengthen this fly and give us enough on the head. Like so. Now I've got just enough to do a couple of nice finishing wraps right here on the front. This is the mocha color in the hydro hackle. I'm going to go right up to where that 60 degrees starts to bend. I'm using white thread. You could definitely bust a tan out here. Um, just going to anchor that down. Pull everything back. Give it a few Shakira's. And clip that. Using the new Black Widow scissor by uh, Dr. Slick. Digging it. Love the curve. Easy to pick up, but they fit in your hand nice and neat too, so go ahead and finish this guy off. Just a small head. I'm trying to keep that narrow up there for, for the rocks and stuff so it doesn't get stuck in there, wedged in there. A buddy that's calling this the Davy Crockett hat, but we'll call it we'll call it the bronze medal winner. Definitely a fly put you on the podium. <clears throat> a little trick we like to do, you know, if you're not digging on the white thread. Comb back on that guy. It can easily do a little change on there. Good tip for beginners looking to save money. Buy white thread, <clears throat> use Sharpie. I'm go ahead and put a little head cement on this. You can see just a subtle little bugger. A lot of movement on this one. It drops nice. You can use it uh, suspended under a large indicator. Or we've been fishing it on dry lines. Water's getting a little lower now, so we're putting our sink tips away. clean up on there. And there you have it. That is the Davy Crockett hat or the bronze medal winner. Awesome little mocha colored bugger. Super durable. Super buggy. Loving that hook. Really stout hook. Great hookups. And there you have it. Go USA.